Lemonade, Open Door, Tattooed Chef, Draft Kings. Do any of these stocks sound familiar to you? Well, they all have a common theme happening today, and that is that their stocks are all down significantly. But they aren't alone. The S&P 500 is down nearly 4% in the last few days as of recording this video, and the Dow, well, another 700 points down today. But one sector in particular is getting hit really hard, and that is growth stocks, namely high growth stocks, and some high risk speculative stocks are getting absolutely hammered as I record this video. So what's happened to these high growth names? Why are they crashing here today? In this video, I want to discuss a few things with you guys. First, something interesting with high growth stocks that I have personally noticed. I want to share my insight on that. Second, what is something that you can do when these stocks are going down? I'm going to share my thoughts on this. And finally, what are some high growth stocks that I'm personally interested in? I'm going to share a few stocks that I am watching very closely today. So drop a like down below that helps the channel out a ton and make sure to watch the entire video through because it's going to help you understand what to do in these, you know, unfortunate and uncertain situations and how you can actually benefit and take advantage of these opportunities when high growth stocks are down. So the first thing I'll say is that during these times of uncertainty, the last thing you want to do is panic. Panic. It just doesn't help you with investing and more often than not, it actually leads you to locking in losses because you acted on emotions. Emotions are pretty much number one enemy to investors and more often than not, you're left regretting those decisions. So if there's one thing that you learn from this video, let it be this, keep calm and keep investing. So now here's a common thing that happens over and over and over again in the stock market. Volatility picks up, stocks drop in value, and a whole bunch of YouTubers, hey, I'm guilty of this too, create videos on why stocks are crashing. The reality of the situation though, it doesn't matter why they're crashing. All that matters is that you have a plan in place to take advantage of this massive potential opportunity. So what is a common theme with high growth stocks that I've noticed? So one thing I've noticed is whenever volatility picks up for whatever reason is out there, high growth stocks particularly get hammered incredibly hard. This is very noticeable and it's much more prevalent to see high growth stocks down quite a bit. Double digits isn't uncommon, especially when compared to other sectors. These are some high growth stock names that I have on my watch list and you can see how some of them have lost nearly 10% of their value today. Popular names like Smile Direct Club, IPOB, which is soon to be Open Door, Tattooed Chef, Good RX, Lemonade. There's, there's a common theme that I'm noticing here. A lot of these stocks that are down, you know, close to double digits are stocks that have recently IPO'd or have gone through a SPAC merger. They're all fairly new stocks to the market. Typically, when a stock goes public, there's a lot of hype and speculation and excitement around those stocks, and that pushes prices and valuations up very high. But as soon as there's a sign of uncertainty, a sign of fear, a sign of doubt, those investors cash out their profits. This results in kind of like a snowball effect. You know, as some people sell, stock goes down a bit more, more people sell, goes down a bit more. And before you know it, you're in the cycle where the stock just keeps falling and falling and more and more investors are considering selling out their positions at a small gain or at this point, possibly even a loss. And this is just something you have to accept with these high growth, high risk stocks. They can be great to the upside when they're moving higher and you're making 20, 30% in, you know, a couple of days or a few weeks but they can crash just as hard, if not harder, because fear, when that takes over, that's a powerful thing. You just have to come to terms that, you know, a lot of these stocks are speculative. At the end of the day, there's a lot of risk with investing in businesses like the ones I just mentioned. So the first sign of uncertainty will typically result in some pretty significant moves in these stocks. Now moving on, what could you do when these stocks are down? Okay, so let's let's throw an example. Say you're holding one of these stocks, I don't know, pick one, Smile Direct Club, for example. You wake up, you check your app, you see that Smile Direct Club is down 10%. What do you do? The first thing I would do is actually check to see if there was any specific news around Smile Direct Club. Was there an announcement around the company? Did they, you know, release some news article? Maybe management's changing, maybe their strategy is changing, maybe they went out and revised their guidance, maybe they reported earnings. Was there anything specific news related around this business? Now here's the secret. 
if there wasn't anything specifically related to Smile Direct Club and it caused the stock to drop significantly, it typically means that the broader market is selling off and it typically means that this is just getting pulled down with the market. Those are opportunities. Those are times that you want to go in and if your fundamentals are still strong in that business, you still believe in the outlook, nothing's changed with what this business is going to do over the next few years, yeah, it's a buying opportunity. Now, I know it's cheesy, buy when others are fearful, but that's exactly what this is in a nutshell. Others are fearful, they're selling off the stock, you see nothing wrong with the core of the business, so you buy. The last thing you want to do is sell a stock as it's selling off because that's the complete opposite of the golden rule of investing, buy low, sell high. Okay, number three, what are some high growth stocks that I am personally interested in? Okay, so high growth stocks, they're great. There's a lot of upside with these stocks and I personally have quite a few of them in my personal watch list that I follow on pretty much a daily basis. One stock I wanna buy more of is Beyond Meat. This one has been a big winner for me so far and has a lot of upside still in my opinion, so I want to definitely build out a bigger position here. CrowdStrike, this is another one that's on my list. Haven't discussed it too much on the channel. It's a high growth name. I've missed out on previous opportunities here with this company, but I am watching it closely. Uber, this one is something that I've been public about on the channel. I am bullish on Uber long term. That has not changed, and I would love to buy more Uber on an overall market weakness. Splunk, this one is a data analytics company, briefly mentioned it in my previous video when I talked about Palantir. Again, not a stock we've talked about too much on the channel, but I do think that they're in a sector that has high growth potential for many more decades to come. So I'm watching this one for a potential buy sometime soon. MongoDB, this is another one that has a massive potential ahead of it. They already have a lot of large customers and I think eventually this company has a very strong chance of getting taken over by a larger business. They offer a very valuable service to customers and companies and they're focused on the database side of things with the data and cloud applications, which is again, two high growth areas in the world right now. Now my personal watch list consists of many, many stocks and you guys know me on the channel as typically a more conservative investor. I typically like investing in more stable businesses. However, I'm not blind to what's going on in the market today. I realize that high growth companies are kind of the hot thing to be in and there's a lot of opportunity there with these businesses, especially with the way that the world is changing today, shifting more towards certain sectors, moving away from other sectors and these high growth companies have been benefiting greatly from that. So that's why I still continue to monitor these and still continue to invest in some of them specifically here and there where I find value in. Now don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean I'm going to be rushing in to buy any of these stocks that at the first sign of a sell off, hey, Splunk is down 3%, I'm going to buy a ton of shares. No, 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 no. I have my valuations set for these businesses and I have prices that make sense to me and where I would slowly start adding into my position. I preach dollar cost averaging on this channel. I think that's the way to go if you're an individual stock picker. You don't want to go all in because that typically results in FOMO, missed opportunities, and let's just be real, timing the market is impossible. I just stick to my fundamentals, my metrics, price of sales, that's a big one for high growth stocks. And I just figure out, okay, if this business trades at this valuation, I think it makes sense. It has a potential to double, triple, quadruple over the next few years. This is kind of the price range that I would be happy buying in. That's what I do for my favorite stocks. That's what I do for any potential future investment. And that's just a strategy that's been successful for me. Now remember, I said at the beginning of this video, do not panic at the first sign of selling. Even at the second sign, even after a month, do not panic. Just keep calm, have a plan in place, and trust me guys, if you invest in good businesses over time, they will outperform and they will reward you for that patience. Now this is all first hand, this is just my personal experience with investing, so I really do hope that you gain something out of this video, and if you did stick around here to the end, Thank you, and also I'd love to hear your five stocks that you're watching closely, high growth specifically, that you want to buy on the next potential market crash. Let me know in the comment section down below, drop a like for the YouTube AI, but either way, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to invest positively, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.